Hi, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Boyles. I'm a kindergarten teacher at Penn Lincoln Elementary. Earlier this week, you learned that recycling meant to take something that is a waste and change it or convert it into something new. Today, we're going to do another fun recycling activity. Today, you are going to get to make your very own clothes. First, you need to come up with a plan. You need to decide what kind of clothes you want to make. Do you want to make shoes, a hat, a shirt, a vest, a skirt? Second, you need to think about the materials you need to find around your house to make your clothes. Do you need old boxes, scissors, glue, tape, old paper, newspapers, snack bags? Then, after you've came up with your plan, the clothes you want to make, and all the materials you need to make them, you need to ask a grown-up in your house to help you look around your house for those materials. Maybe you have some empty snack bags or old newspapers or magazines, some paper bags, some empty boxes, or even some old school papers laying around that you don't need anymore. After you have all the things gathered, it's time to start your plan. I'm going to share some plans that my own children did and the clothes that they chose to make. So first is Dessa. Dessa's plan was to make an apron with a few flowers on it and a fan. She came up with her materials list. She needed newspapers, tape, scissors, and glue. After Dessa got all of her materials, she started to cut and put together her very own apron. You can see the flowers on it, and then she made a fan to go with it. Next, Dessa decided she was going to make a crown for her cousin, Oakland. So she drew a picture of her plan. She got her materials list, newspaper, scissors, tape. She gathered everything together again, and she made Oakland his very own crown. The next plan is Darby's. Darby decided she was going to make a skirt and a shirt or a top with a bow on it. Her material list was snack bags, papers, glue, tape, and scissors. I'm not gonna show you hers yet because she's in a picture with her brother, Devin, who decided he was going to make a vest and a bow tie. And Devin came up with a material list of paper, tape, glue, scissors, and some empty snack bags. Here is their finished clothes that they made. You can see Devin's vest and bow tie, Darby's shirt and her skirt, and she even made a little bow for her puppy, Josie. So those are some of the clothes my children chose to make and they found all the materials around our house. So think about what you want, what you want to make. Maybe you use some empty macaroni boxes to make some shoes. You could even use an empty box to make a hat. Or maybe you decide to come up with a bow for in your hair. Whatever you choose to make, make take a picture, send it to your teacher so we can see all the awesome clothes you came up with the recycled materials in your house. I hope you have lots of fun doing this activity. I'll see you soon. Take care. Goodbye.